This is WBLS 107.5 Broadcasting here in New York, New York. I'm your host, Wendy Williams. How you doing? How you doing? Don't mind me. I just got another nose job. It's not even that serious. More importantly, what we've actually got is someone very dear to us all who's calling in today. Miss Whitney Houston. Yes, she's going to be calling in. What? She's on the line. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. She's on the line. I'm going to take the call. Everybody, calm down. Calm down. Whitney, Whitney, Whitney. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. You know, Whitney, I don't think I've ever met you a day in my career. Mm, and you can't seem to keep my name out your mouth, can you? Ain't that something? You know nothing about me, yet it's all about Whitney, ain't it, baby? You know, we have a lot in common, Whitney. What the do we have in common? Let me tell you something, honey. I tour across the world. You work at some little raggedy radio station in the hood somewhere. When you're coming to Whitney, you gotta come correct, baby. You are America's sweetheart. And I think we're all just a little concerned because we want to know, are you still using the substances? First of all, that's none of your business, okay? Now, what Whitney does is what Whitney does, and she does it real well. So watch what the you say. Whitney, who would you say is the most influential man in this industry? Oh, well, that would have to be you, Wendy. You are the most influential man that I know. <laughs> you were in a really dark place at one point in your life. I was in a dark place, Wendy, and it was because I didn't know my own strength. I did not know! <laughs> gotta get it off my back. I'm gonna devil ride in your back. What you gotta do, get them off. Get off it. You have one of the most beautiful voices of our time. Whitney, how do you feel about the female artists who are coming up in this day and age? I don't know what these women are doing. They run around butt naked in auto-tune. Yes, a lot of these women are running around butt naked in auto-tune. Different strokes for different folks, baby. But I was raised by a sissy in the church. You know why? Because I'm Whitney, baby. Because I'm Whitney. Whitney. Are you still in love with Bobby? I will always love Bobby, and Bobby will always love me. Oh, I love me some Bobby. Okay, so how did you feel when Bo Bobby's my baby tonight? I understand, but when Bobby went to j Bobby, Bobby gave me the most beautiful child in the world. Bobby Christina, I wouldn't change that for anything. I bet you two have amazing sex, don't you? Mm, you nasty. I'm sorry, but the two of you are a hot topic. Shut up, just shut up, shut up. Shut up, just shut up, shut up. That's my song and I want to dedicate that to you, Wendy. What are you doing right now, Whitney? I'm chilling poolside in Miami, baby. Minding my business because that's what God put me on this earth to do. But enough about Whitney, baby. How you doing? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. I actually just published my- You know what, girl? I want to listen to you, but you're making my head hurt. Yes, you're making my head hurt and my weave is sweating out. I got to go. Bobby, I got to go. I'm your- Whitney? Wait, Whitney. I think we lost her. Wait, wait. Oh, God, I think I need another nose job. You know what? Moving on. Next topic. The most amazing thing about Whitney Houston is that she taught us all that no one's perfect. Everyone has flaws. But at the end of the day, that does not take away from the talent that you have inside of you. And she truly had a gift that I believe that no one else on this earth will ever be able to give us. So thank you so much, Whitney, for that. We love you. Rest in peace. Mwah. That's a wrap, bitches. <laughs>